Ruby Volume 7 trailer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Hey guys, welcome back. So right now I am done with Ruby. I've finished Volume 5 and Volume 6. So what I'm doing now is just editing and getting them up to you as quick as I can because Volume 7 is just literally weeks away. So I want to be caught right up. But at the present moment, like all that's done and dusted, like I said, I do want to check out the trailer for Volume 7 though. This has been doing the rounds for a couple of days, so I've just had to find time to get it done. And today is that day. So, without further ado, and I'm very, very excited, I can't wait to see this, Volume 7 trailer for Ruby. 3, 2, 1, go. Many have described these as uncertain times. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. Great ending. This isn't That's right. right. This whole city, it just seems awful. So, what do we do? Well, oh, we didn't writing. come this far to feel now! Whoa, oh Until shit. Now, I believed it was impossible to truly turn the tide against Salem. We find ourselves in a position of needing a new approach. She will keep returning stronger and stronger unless we destroy her. Onward. how we can help. I was wondering who the voice was, I couldn't pick it. He's got a beard now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. New suits, new costumes. <gasps> Blake's had a haircut. Oh, Yang. Bomber jacket. Oh, look at you go, girl. Oh, new outfits, everyone. Damn. I was honestly expecting things to go a lot rougher. <laughs> Oh shit, someone's got the relic. So, so Vic, no longer doing the voice for Crow, he's been let go. So that was the new voice talent who I, I don't know the name of at the moment, but it was it was pretty on point. It wasn't too bad. I like what Vic does, and, and I love his voice work in Full Metal Alchemist as well. With Crow, it was really kind of that husky, throaty, sexy voice, you know, it was a really cool Drunkle Crow he nailed it, like all the, the drunk scenes that he had as well. He was he was amazing. So I'm going to miss Vic. Um, all the stuff that went on behind the scenes, I'm not going to comment on here. It's not my place. I am just appreciating what he brought to the table as his talent. And yeah, I, I like what he did as Crow. So having a new actor doing the voice now. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm open to it. I want to hear the interpretation. I'm gonna Like I said, I'm going to miss Vic. But as long as they character the very essence of what Crow is, who he is, and just now that husky throaty sexiness, good, right? Because we all love Drunk or Crow. That looks sick. All the girls got new outfits. Blake, her hair's gone. Why? Okay, we know why. Because, well, when you have a nasty breakup with an, with an ex, sometimes you really just need to kind of change things up a little bit. And the way her and Adam ended, and I don't want to spoil it for those who have not seen Volume 6 yet, she had to make a few changes, right? So, chop the locks. Yang didn't, but she's 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 already had something traumatic happen to her, so she's keeping her lovely, luscious yellow locks. She's good. But, um, man, that looks cool. I can't wait. Hurry up, November. Is it November 2nd? I believe it is. So, obviously, Rooster Teeth will have those out for us, and our reactions will be up within a week or so of that, because we've got to follow their guidelines and um, potentially get the video unblocked when YouTube the algorithms kick in and everything is just blocked and you've got to talk to Rooster Teeth and say, hey guys, can my video be unblocked please? Thanks guys. That's what happens. Pretty much exactly like that. Anyway, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.